this temple on the trinad. Is that how you pronounce it? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> uh, and I'm it just happens to. How you're going to pronounce all that? It just happens to coincide with Vlar Kernis, maybe. Which, anyway, it's a battle, a battle between the McLeods and the McDonalds. That is the Ditch of Blood. That is where the head of the McDonald clan around here was killed in the battle. Battle of Carnage, or Carnish. Uh, the battle came about because uh, in 1601, the McDonald's from around here raided uh, a church on Sky, set fire to it, killed about 120 people in the church. Apart from one, uh, a young girl who managed to climb out the window ran back to Dunvegan Castle, was it? Dunvegan? The McLeod stronghold in Sky, and alerted them. Waved the fairy flag, yes, the fairy flag. Uh, McLeod's came out, chased the McDonald's off. Caught up, whole bunch, caught a whole bunch of them up and slaughtered them. The McLeods then decided to get their own back and come over here to the McDonald territory. So they sent a whole bunch of people, a big massive bunch of McLeods, come over and spent the night before the battle in this building we're going to go see in a minute. The yeah. battle then happened the next day and there was a much smaller group of McLeod, McDonald's uh, and they actually won the battle. But the head of the McDonald clan was killed in that ditch over there. Hence the name, Ditch of Blood. So this church is originally 12th, 13th century, though it's assumed that it was the base of a much older monastery. It was extended at one stage by Amy McGrary, um, who instructed the building of Borough Castle on Bimbecula, which I presume we will get to see at some stage. It was destroyed in the Reformation and rebuilt in the 1800s and there are Commonwealth graves here so it has been used right up into the 20th century. I would be careful when you're clumbering about the rubble. The gravestones? There's more than gravestones here. Oh? Yes. There was a lady from Kilfeather up north mm -hmm. came down here to go work and she got married. She got quite ill and died. Mm -hmm. Her wish was to be buried in Kilfeather but against her wishes her husband decided that he was going to bury her down in this right. area. So her friends landed up for the wake and mm -hmm. decided to try and take her by force back to Kilfeather. The dead body? Yes. Right. That's what she oh, wanted. Yeah. But they got caught out on the Carnish sands, the tides caught yeah. them. So they came back up here to this very place uh -huh. to hide. They got her hidden and they hid elsewhere and one of the walls collapsed in the storm and she is under this wall and apparently has been here from 1871. It was 1871? Mm -hmm. Oh right, so... She could be a here somewhere. There's like bones sticking up. I was actually just wondering, see when you look up there there's a big massive bird's nest? Yeah there is. Is that bones? That looks like it's a shoulder blade of a lamb. I hope it's a lamb. Small child. Yeah, there are definitely bones in that bird's nest. 